We'll Number see how this six. game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Northwestern's offense really centered around this quarterback, and as he goes, the team seems to go, Kirk. Brad, over the weeks, I've been watching him on film, and one thing I've seen is his ability to make good decisions. I mean, time after time, he just avoids the mistakes. And when you can do that as a quarterback, as a leader of an offense, you're going to move the football down the field. Tackle made right around the 42-yard line. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. And he has a huge run. I'll tell you right now, this guy is arguably one of the fastest players in college football today. There you see him turn it upfield with such fluidity and quickness. Tries to scramble, but he's sacked. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. You just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. Looking to dig themselves out of a little hole here after the sack. It's second and 14. He's scrambling. And he's going to come up with a sack. Quick throw. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. That's going to be the end of 19 yards. First down. And they make the stop at the 19. You like to see a team having success like this running the football. It can really open up things for the offense. And he's taken down at about the 11. Nice job by the running back, and that'll get him seven, maybe eight yards. Nice run up the middle. The offense coordinator right now is very happy with the execution. That's the fifth first down on this drive alone. The big thing is when you have this kind of drive going, you don't want to end it in a field goal. Now you want to focus on trying to put the football into the end zone. They'll work the left. They'll bring him down around the nine-yard line. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Touchdown, Wildcats! And he tacks on the extra point. An 11 play, 74 yard drive, and a touchdown to result. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart out. They can really demoralize a defense when they drive the ball down the field, and a lot of the yards came on the ground. And they can forget about returning this one. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Quick strike, and he drops it. Terrific coverage, and when you clog up passing lanes like that, you could force a quarterback to make some poor decisions. Almost got themselves a turnover, too. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 25. And down he goes around the 38-yard line. I'm a huge 
huge fan of the play action pass in college football because the play action it really puts a lot of pressure on defense. The defense gets caught up and concerned about the running game, and it puts them out of position. And it makes the throwing lanes for the quarterback and the windows that he's trying to find much easier to find for a quarterback and the receivers to pick up big yards like we just saw there. That brings up second and 13. So it's second down and 13 yards to go following that quarterback sack. Steps out of bounds around the 42 yard line. Catches it and hit immediately for a loss. They lose four there. But that play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. The punter is going to try to pin them deep in their own territory with a good punt here. He really got a hold of that one. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. Pretty good-looking touchdown drive the last time these guys were out there. Northwestern is up seven. Draw here. Nice run, and he's brought down. They hand it off. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. He's tackled right around the 36-yard line. Gain of three yards. First down. Now he tries to buy some time, and he's going to be sacked. No gain. That makes it second and ten. He's hit immediately. Gaining three yards. That makes it 37. 47 Mike. 47 Mike. Mike 47. Let's get it together, defense. Let's get it together. Check, check. He scrambled. He's taken down at the 41. When you get in these third down situations, a confident offense expects to get the yardage they need on the ground. It's a good job by the defense to shut that down. Booming kick. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. He's tackled right around the 20. He'll get the call again. Gains his way to the 29-yard line. Gain of nine on the play. That'll make it third and one. Hey, check my 46. Check my 46. He's to the 40. He's at midfield. At the 30. To the 20. He scores. What a play. The extra point to tie this game up. And he converts the extra point. So a short three-play, 80-yard drive. And that's good for a touchdown. Boy, that is scoring in a hurry. This offense is looking more and more explosive. We're even at seven in this one. We've played one. We get a tie game at 7-7. Seven, seven. Maryland, kick this one off. 
He really got a hold of that kick. Welcome back. Tight game here in the second quarter as we begin play. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. And they get nice yardage on that run. That's a team of seven. That'll bring up second and three. Takes it right, he can't get back to the line. And the linebacker comes up and makes a big stop. This is textbook. This is how you're supposed to play against the run. Third down and six yards to go. Ball in the 29. Brought down the 34-yard line. fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. Takes the ball inside. Tackle around the 35-yard line. Two times, two times. That'll make it second and inches. The 32. That'll bring up third and four. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Four down, four down. Hey, check by 46. Check by 46. Go! One, two, three. Tackled after a decent pickup. for a sack on the play. Brad, not only do they give up a sack here, but their quarterback just got hit and hit hard. If I'm an offensive coordinator, especially an offensive line coach, I'm getting a hold of my offensive line, making sure these guys are on the same page, and they've got to take more pride in taking care of their quarterback than that play right there. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. That's a great tackle at the 32-yard line. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. Knocked out of bounds at about the 49. Throws, and it's incomplete. Number three, the receiver on the play. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 49. Makes it out to about the 36. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That's a team of four. That makes it second and six. They'll drop him for a loss. Takes him down behind the line. That's a loss of three yards. That brings us third and ten. They've looked good so far on third down on this drive. Let's see what happens here. Hey, check my 46. Check my 46. They're going down. Motion, motion, motion. Motion, motion. Set it. Check, check, check. There you go. Boy, Brett, how many times do you see a big guy like this have an opportunity to make a play, an interception, a highlight film moment, and he drops the football?
Maryland is looking to go up by three. It has the distance, and it's good! The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. And they'll bring him down behind the line. By the time the running back here got the football, he's looking up and he's got a couple defensive linemen closing in on him because they were able to slip off of their blocks. Really, nothing he could do at all there. That was more of a miscommunication, just getting overmatched up front by the offensive line. Third down and long coming up here. Ball on their own 18. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. So they try to fool him with the run, but the defense was all over. Great job here by the defense to penetrate the offensive line and get to the ball carrier before he got too many yards. He gets it away. and This is a really nice punt. Tackle at the 38. A really defensive battle going on right now so far, Kirk. Well, the defenses are flying around the football, doing a good job. I think both offenses are making it a little easier because of their style of game plan. I think by the offensive coordinator, take a few chances. Be willing to open it up and try to give your quarterback a chance to make a play. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Fires out to his wideout. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 45-yard line. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Maryland is up by three. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. Tackle made right around the 22-yard line. second time out of the half. They're about four yards away here on second down. Nice play to set up first and goal. Run up the middle. That brings up second and goal. Touchdown, Terrapins! He hits the PAT. A six play, 62 yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. We're about set to start things up again. They come out on an empty backfield. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. From their own 25 yard line, second down. Scrambling around. And he hits him hard at the 31. Call it a gain of six yards. Tries to scramble, but he's sacked. 
They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. And this one is a beauty. Brought down at the 39. The Terrapins are just cruising through this first half, Herbie. Really a comfortable lead here. Yep, but still a lot of football left to be played. they got to remember that it's a four-quarter game, and even though that first half went pretty well, things can change in a hurry. The quarterback is on his way back onto the field, and he led a great drive last time out. Under heavy pressure. He lets it fly. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. Hey, that's a heads-up play there by the defender. Get those hands up and something good may just happen. From their own 39-yard line, second down. And he's taken down at the 45. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. Makes the grab and steps out right away. Superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball. Well, this comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver, and the result, again, a nice play for the offense. The field goal unit's out on the field, and they're going to try to get these guys three points before halftime. Kicks up, and he just drilled it from long range. I just want to squib this one. Only a few seconds left here before halftime. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. So we've played two quarters. The Terrapins in front, 20 to 7. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. There is nothing, and I mean nothing, that is more important than turnovers. Now, so far, neither defense has been able to force one in this game, but you never know when that opportunity is going to come up. No, and people look at turnovers and they assume that it's luck a lot of times, but a lot of times it's preparation. It's being able to know that when certain teams line up like South Carolina back in 2002 in a certain formation where it's Tucson open stud and they got three receivers to my side and I know it's a rollout pass. As a defensive end, I widened my stance a little bit, came up field, hit the quarterback as he was throwing it. Next thing you know, the ref signals his hands up in the air and you get six points for it. So you can definitely be prepared and that's how you force those turnovers. We've done what we can do here at halftime. Time to get you back out to the second half. We'll keep an eye on everything going on in college football. Brad Nestler and Kirk Herbstreit ready with a call. All right, Reese and David, back welcome back, back everybody. Just about set to start the second half. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down to the end zone for a touchback. The Terrapins having everything going their way right now. They have put up 20 straight points on the board. So they're just about set to get the game going again. Now he's scrambling. They'll bring him down at the 29. That's good for him. Four down, four down. That makes it second and six. Check by 46. Check, check, check. I can get out. And down he goes at about the 39 yard line.
complete. Brought down. Nothing doing. Gain of one on the play. That brings up second and nine. Tries to get around the corner. He's knocked out of bounds at the 49. Hands it off. Nice run to the left there. That's good for a gain of five yards. That brings him second and five. Nice run, and he's brought down. From the 39-yard line, it's first down. Lunch it all, going deep. Oh, and he can't hold on. And this play is number eight on the drive. He's on the run. And they make the stop at about the 35. Call it a gain of four yards. That'll bring up third and six. Give me that ball, Give me that ball. Check, check, check. He scrambled. And they got him. It's a big time effort sack by the defensive end. I want to also give some credit to the coverage downfield. The end never gave up on the play, but because the quarterback didn't have anywhere to go with the football, it gave the defensive end enough time to eventually chase the quarterback down for that sack. They call on the kicker for a long field goal. The kick is up. It's got the distance. And he nails the long field goal. Line up to kick this one away. Excellent kick. Maryland's continuing to play extremely tough defense. This has been impressive. It's just been impressive to watch them play with such an attitude, almost a chip on their shoulder with the energy that they're playing with. I think it's going to require that kind of effort to be able to win this game. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He's to the 40. He makes his way to about the 45. Just a simple draw play there, but they picked up some big yards. That makes it first and 10. Hey, check by 47. Check by 47. Nice run there. That'll make it second and four. He's tackled right around the 44-yard line. Looks to his receiver, first down. First down. 47, Mike, 47, Mike, 47. Mike, 47. Oklahoma! Gets out to around the 32. Great job here converting and keeping this defense on the field. They're getting very tired. Tackled at the 33 yard line. He's under pressure. There's a very impressive open field tackle. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 22. Quickly to the tight end. Brought down at the 11 yard line. That makes it first and 10. Three down, three down. 47 Mike, 47. Here he goes. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. That makes it second and six. Yeah. 
And off to the right. He's taken down at about the three-yard line. He's gobbled up in the backfield. So they wrapped him up before he could get anything going. Yeah, there was nothing there on that option. This should be an easy field goal. Kicks away, and it's through the uprights. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Terrapins had that hot hand on offense, and they just keep on going here in quarter number three. The greatest thing you could say about these guys today is consistency. They are moving the football and putting points up on the board. They're going to be tough to beat. The offense ready to go again. And their last drive ended with three points. Navajo! Navajo! They bring the quarterback down. Boy, this defense really came to play today. Well, they said before the game that they wanted to put a lot of pressure on this quarterback. They sure stuck to that plan. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. Hey, check by 46. Check by 46. Check out. 648. They'll work the right side. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Tackle at the 42 yard line. He's going to try and scramble. They'll make the sack. The offensive line has to at least slow the guy down a little bit. He was in there in no time. That'll make it second and long. So the sack makes this a second and long. Four down, four down. Hey, check by 46. Check by 46. Take go. He makes it to the 38-yard line. That's good for a game of two yards. That brings us down to 14. So at the end of three, Maryland leads 23-10. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Watch 82, ball coming 82. This is hard to do. 288. He airs it out. Intercepted. That is exactly the kind of play you want to see from a safety. He needs to be able to read the play and then make the interception. From their own 26 yard line. First down. Here's a run. It's a fumble. And the offense picks it up. And they get nice yardage on that run. They're going to review this fumble, and I've got to tell you, I think he was down before the ball popped loose. I don't know about this one, Brad. They called it a fumble on the field, and they need indisputable video evidence to overturn this call. After, after review of the, the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So after the review, they reversed the call on the field. Second down and seven coming up here. Ball on the 29-yard line. Number 53, Mike 53. Oh. 
makes it out to about the 49. This is the kind of steady, strong drive that coaches love to see. Right now, they're firing on all cylinders. He's into the open field. Makes it out to about the 39. That makes it first and 10. Hey, 10 he fights forward to about the 36. That's a three. That'll make it second and seven. We got Mike, number 53. Mike, Little handoff. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. Think about the speed and instincts it takes for a linebacker to get from his position into the backfield to make a play like that. That's well done. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 29. Quick shot to the open receiver, and he can't hang on to the ball. Quick throw out to the receiver. Tackle made around the 21-yard line. Number 25 on the tackle at the 21-yard line. First down. Gets out to about the 21. Watch down, and he's going to get sacked. You know, this defensive end has tremendous athletic ability and speed. He also has size to go with it. When you combine all those skills, it's no wonder he's getting after this quarterback. So the sack makes this third and very long. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Quick pass, man open, and he dropped it. Number six is the intended receiver on the play. That makes it fourth and one. Steps up in the pocket. And he might want it all here and does. Offside. Defense. They're giving away free yards and only making life easier for the guys on the other side of the ball. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. Gets it. He's in space. That makes it first and goal. Blue 14. Touchdown, Northwestern. And he converts the extra point. It was an 11-play, 72-yard drive, and the result, seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. For Northwestern, they've been bringing the heat, and they've gotten to them on several occasions. This aggressive defense has enjoyed multiple sacks tonight. And they'd love to get a quick three and out in this situation. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Maryland, up six. And he's taken down around the 27-yard line.
Northwestern just took their first time out. Third and six. Ball on their own 29. Swings it to his tight end, but he drops it. That'll make it fourth and six. The punting team's got to give their kickers some time. Oh, excellent punt. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. Northwestern's been unable to really show that they're the team to beat here, but it looks like they're going to get another chance at it. Well, it's now or never. This team has put themselves in a position where they have to hope for some heroics late. It's because they played sloppy most of the game. They're very fortunate they still have a chance to be able to win this game. Gains his way to the 39-yard line. And the halfback picks up nine yards on the delay. That brings up second and nine. Oklahoma, Oklahoma! Motion, 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 motion! He's scrambling. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. Just under two to go in the game. Slings it out and it gets tipped. Hey, that's a heads up play there by the defender. Get those hands up and something good may just happen. That makes it second and 10. From midfield, it's second down. Scrambling around. Sheds one tackler. They'll bring him down at the 43. He picks up a good seven yards there in the quarterback keeper. That'll bring up third and two. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That's a game of seven on the play. First down. I smell fear in that offense. Now he tries to buy some time. He takes off, and down he goes at the 24. That's a gain of 12 on the play. That makes it first and 10. 47 Mike, 47 Mike, Mike 47. Down. Out of bounds at about the 21. That's good for three yards. Here's the eighth play of the series. Lost the ball, fumble, and they fall on the loose ball. Northwestern's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Good thing they got the ball back. That fumble could have really cost them. Oklahoma. Now he's scrambling. The 10 slides down. That makes it first and goal. It's a bad play overall by the offense. The quarterback's doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. We have less than a minute to go. Quick strike to the receiver. He goes out of bounds around the three-yard line. That's a gain of five on one play. That makes Here's the 12th play of the drive. Make the stop at the two-yard line. This is it. They've got to get it in the end zone. They bring him down. Huge play for the defense. Here we are late in the fourth quarter, and this is what this game has come down to. Every possession is going to count, and this could be the one right here. Gets to about the five-yard line. The halfback picks up a yard. It's second down. They've got their backs against the wall. Hey, 
You know, these backwards plays can have a psychological impact. It can damage the team's confidence if it keeps happening. And this one's all but wrapped up. The Terrapins get the win. 23-17. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.